there's somebody running around the streets yeah. uh, shooting people, kicking indoors and shooting people. I couldn't imagine anything worse than that. She was a mom, a daughter, a sister, and she was shot dead in her own home. Who killed 37-year-old Ruby Mae Terry has been a mystery for eight years now. But police and her family won't give up the search for the cold-blooded killer. Here's Local 4 Defender Karen Drew. March 13th, 2010. 8.15 in the evening. It was cold and rainy that day, muddy outside. Um, dispatch sends out a call. Evan South Jesse in Pontiac. And that door right there was the one that had been kicked in. Sergeant Buckman was working that night. Blood in the kitchen where um, our victim had been shot. The victim, 37-year-old Ruby Mae Terry. Ruby was real friendly. Like I said, it's nothing she couldn't meet nobody that she didn't think was her friend. Ruby and her son Al lived with Ruby's mother on Jesse Street. He was just nine years old when his mother was murdered. I remember when she got shot, I remember I was standing right next to her. I was touching her. We made it to the hospital. My jersey, my basketball jersey was covered in blood. Ruby May was pronounced dead at the hospital. This is a picture of the outside of the house. Now, eight years later, detectives are still scouring over old crime scene photos, knocking on doors, looking for someone who knows something. There's somebody running around the streets. Uh, shooting people, kicking in doors and shooting people. I couldn't imagine anything worse than that. This is what we know about the case. Police believe the murderer walked up this ramp into the front door where Ruby lived. I said, oh no, it's somebody trying to break in. Ruth says her daughter forced her into the living room and then Ruby grabbed a gun and ran back into the kitchen. They kept her hitting on the door, bam, bam, bam. They couldn't get in. They start to shoot. A bullet struck Ruby. My baby got shot. She fell to the ground. When she was laying on the floor, she said, Mama, she looked up at me. She said, Mama, I am dying. A neighbor heard the shot and looked outside. He saw three or four black males wearing dark clothing cutting between houses. They fled the scene this way, and the dog tracked them up and around, and that's where we found the, uh, um, the evidence, the mask and the shotgun. This is a photo of the mask that was found. Years later, MSP would be able to obtain DNA from that mask. Through the track of the canine, later took us to a uh, weapon that was located on the floor, on the ground, which was a shotgun. Which would be matched to Ruby's murder. So who would want the Pontiac mother dead? Well, her own mother made a stunning admission. And my baby got hit, but the bullet was for me. And I know the bullet was for me. I was a number one. A number woman? That's right. It was a living. I know it was wrong. That was money to help my family out. We have individuals on the street that we believe know who did this. Now that years have passed. We're out here still knocking on doors. Police are hoping someone will come forward. Still talking to people, anyone that gives us a tip. With what really happened that cold and rainy night in March. We're at a standstill right now, and we want justice for the family. I miss her being here. If you have a heart, and if anybody out there knows, just call the officer.